But I think we both know what that are like. One thing which the New Yorker also led to was my friendship with Stanley Kubrick. Um, the way that happened is I had written a uh, book review of Arthur Clarke's oeuvre. He wrote me from Sri Lanka and he said he was coming to New York and he said he wanted to meet me. And I was not enthusiastic about it because I thought, well, I don't, what am I, I don't have anything to say to this fellow, I don't think, and uh, so on. Um, but he came and we, we met at the Algonquin again and um, well, I said, well, what are you doing here? And he said, well, I'm writing the, the son of Dr. Strangelove. I said, well, what's that? He said, well, it's, it's a science fiction movie that I'm writing with, with Stanley Kubrick. Um, I had seen Dr. Strangelove. In fact, the only movie I ever saw that I sat through twice. I liked it so much. Um, so he said, well, I, we're, I'm doing this with Stanley Kubrick, and um, he's a great man, and you should, you should meet him. I said, well, that's wonderful. I'd love to meet him. So um, a meeting was set up. Kubrick was living in New York on Central Park West, or near where I lived during the war in New York. I went to see him, and um, the door opened. I had never met a movie mogul, and um, I took one look, and I said, God, I know this person. He looks to me like every eccentric physicist I've known all my life. He, he is, um, he's, he's distracted, he's, uh, he's sort of unkempt, he's not interested in anything but what he's interested in. And I said, I, I, I mean, I know this guy. This, is, this, is, this guy is absolutely my type. We, we had a very nice conversation. I think in that conversation, I suggested uh, the, the subtitle of the film, A Space Odyssey. I believe that was my suggestion. Um, anyway, um, we, we got, we talked for, we were talking, when Arthur was there, we talked for about an hour and so on. <clears throat> and I look at my watch and I said, gee, I gotta go. He said, well, well why? I thought well, that was typical Kubrick. I mean, why, why should you have to go when we're having this conversation? I mean, the fact that you have a life, I mean, that's, you know, there's no relevance to anything. You know, why would you want to go? I mean, what is your, you must offer, you have to offer an explanation as to why it is you want to go. I mean, why you have this life? I mean, you know, we're, we're, we're having this conversation. There's no reason to go. Said, I, so I was very truthful. I said, well, I'm playing chess for money um, in Washington Square Park, and I have a date with this guy I'm playing chess with, and I want, don't want to stand him up, and I want to go. So he said, well, who are you playing? I said, well, I'm playing Duval thinking that would mean nothing. Kubrick said, Duval is a potzer. Now, there's nothing that's more insulting than to be, I mean, if Duval is a potzer, and I was just about breaking even, what am I? You know, I must be the king of potzers. So I said, well, I mean, I mean, have you played Duval? He said, yeah. I said, when there was nobody any good around, I used to play Duval, he told me. Um, so uh, I said, well, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sort of breaking even with Duval. And I said, well, you, you know, we should play. And he said, yeah, we should play sometime. We were pretty good friends. Um, it kind of had, we had kind of had, I don't know, sort of not exactly a falling out, but a cooling off when, with Clockwork Orange. Um, I, I went to see the preview of Clockwork Orange, and I was terribly disturbed by it. I was, it was the, it was the un, uncut preview. It was, it was really disturbing. So uh, he said, well, how'd you like the film? I said, Jesus, Stanley, I mean, you know, you, you can't like that film. It's, it's it, it, you know, it's, it's a terrible experience to seeing that film. Then he, then he got quite annoyed with me about that. And then, and then that was sort of the end of whatever friendship we had, I'm, I'm afraid. Um, it was a pity. And uh, I felt like uh, when I heard Bertrand Russell, I heard Bertrand Russell talk at Harvard, and he had a disagreement with Keynes. And then he said, shortly thereafter, Lord Keynes died. And I thought, well, that's what happened. Kubrick died. He died. <laughs>